What's up YouTube, it's David Taylor here with Rover13 and I just want to make a pretty quick update, kind of uh, overview of what happened at the Apple event today and uh, I'm just going to get right into it. I'm just going to show you guys the pictures that I took from uh, the live stream and just talk about it. It's just going to be pretty uh, laid back and just want to talk about all the things that they announced at the Apple event. So first they pretty much went right out and started talking about, well actually they updated the uh, MacBook Airs, they have a bunch of new updates and uh, I'll have pricing down below in the description. Uh, you guys can go to their homepage to see that as well. But the main things that they talked about was Mavericks. Now, this is a new, uh, well, they first part talked about Mavericks. This is the newest uh, version of OS X for the Max, and it's going to be, I think, released later in the fall. Uh, there's a developer preview today if you guys have a developer account for the uh, Mac operating system. So uh, this is what it looks like. It has a bunch of cool new up, uh, features like multiple displays. Uh, you can uh, drag and drop stuff between displays and you can have full screen mode on different displays as well. Uh, it's pretty cool. If you guys have Macs and you uh, like the operating systems and you want a few new updates, uh, definitely look at uh, Mavericks. They got rid of the whole cat uh, name because they said they're running out of cats. Uh, so they're just switching to, uh, or, no, not San Francisco based, uh, California based areas to name their operating systems. So this one's called Mavericks. Uh, it's going to be released later in the fall. Uh, they say here it comes with Excel, or it, the new updates, it comes with compressed memery, uh, AppNap, which is actually a really cool. AppNap lets you, uh, I think I have a picture on here on, of it on here somewhere. There's 72% less CPU activity while using it. Uh, compressed memory. They literally take the uh, unused RAM that you're not using anymore and they can, they're the inactive RAM and they compress it so that way you have more free space uh, to open up apps and that kind of stuff. Uh, then they have new Safari updates as well uh, and then all that kind of stuff. But it's not, those are just kind of little things that I, I personally don't really care about so I'm not really going to report on it too much. Uh, this is just talking about the new Safari. It's going to be a lot faster than they say. They say it's going to be a lot faster than Chrome. Uh, it uses less CPU as Chrome and Firefox, uh, but we'll see about that. I'll do some uh, tests here and there. If you guys can see in the bottom right-hand corner, there's this thing called Juice Meter. And what that is, is that uh, shows the different uh, applications. When there's an application up, it'll be uh, using more CPU. But if you have another application such as iTunes over top of that application, uh, it'll actually lower the CPU because it, it shows that you're not actually looking at it. So it's kind of hard to explain, but if you're not using the application right away, it lowers the CPU usage on it so that saves battery and it doesn't use as much of your computer uh, memory and all that kind of stuff to make those apps run. I think I have a picture on here about it. So right here, you guys can see uh, when you see the application being used, they used a, uh, a website that had a lot of uh, graphics and animation and stuff. When you see the actual application on the desktop, uh, the... Uh, little meter on the right hand side there goes up which means that's the, the cpu you're using goes up but when it's covered in this picture see how the cpu meter goes down it's it it basically gets rid of the uh need to use cpu to run that application just because you're not looking at it so it thinks that you're not uh using it which is actually really helpful i i for windows especially when i run applications my uh computer cpu usage can get uh, extremely high, even if I'm not using the application. If I just have it in the background, uh, it uses a lot of CPU to run that kind of stuff. So this is definitely a good feature uh, for the new Macs. This will be on, on all Macs that can uh, update to uh, OS X Mavericks. So it's a really cool feature. I really like that uh, when they announced that. And they came out with some more uh, Safari stuff. And they talked about iCloud Keychain, uh, which is just saving your passwords like every other web browser. Uh, the notification system or notifications, they added some new features. You can uh, respond to messages within the notification system. You can respond to emails. Uh, you can actually interact with the stuff in there, just like in this picture. Uh, you can call the person later if they send you a FaceTime request or something like that. It's really cool. Uh, I wish that they added that kind of stuff into iOS, but I'll be talking about that in a little bit. Uh, they added also support for other applications doing notification, uh, push notifications. They'll actually uh, push it to your desktop or your MacBook as well. So that's, that's a really cool feature that I liked that they added in about Notification Center. Uh, you also can get the notifications as well as app updates uh, on your desktop or on your lock screen of your MacBook or of, of your desktop, whatever you're using. Uh, so that was really cool. Uh, I like that feature. And it actually updates apps in the background now as well. So they don't just show up and you have to go do it uh, when you have it available. They'll do it in the background 
uh, so you don't even have to worry about it. Then they updated the calendar. It looks pretty cool. Uh, they just added some new UI stuff. Um, they, they were really into the whole infinite scrolling thing. So it's actually really smooth. It really does look nice. Uh, and it fits well with their new uh, iOS 7 uh, theme. And I'll show you guys that in a little bit. They also added a desktop version of Maps. That's pretty cool. Uh, they can You can sync it with your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod Touch. Uh, and when you like, so if you want to go and uh, design a little route that you're going to take for your trip, you can then send it to your phone and then it'll be ready to go once you get in the car and you can use it there. Uh, so I'll, I'll definitely be using that because I love using the maps and GPS and that kind of stuff. Then they said uh, a few updates to iBooks and they didn't really talk about that too much. Uh, I wish more developers would come out with iBooks for uh, education stuff because I spend a ton of money on books for college and I, I really hope iBooks takes off uh, uh, in the future so that uh, kids can use iBooks instead of real books and spending hundreds of dollars when they could be spending just a couple bucks for a download. Uh, so that's, I'm, I'm really hoping they push that a lot further than they have. And they, they actually have, they updated the application for that. And then they talked about the calendar some more. They did some live uh, feeds and or live uh, shows of it so that you guys could see what it looked like. Uh, when you add an event such as you want to go to lunch at Tony's Pizza, whatever, uh, it'll tell you uh, how far away it is uh, for running or for walking or taking the car. It'll also tell you the uh, what what the weather's going to be like there, so you know what to pack or whatever if you're going on a long trip. That's uh, pretty cool. And these are all the features that are coming in OS 10 Mavericks. So that's just a really quick update and uh, overview of what's going to be coming out for Mavericks. Then uh, they kind of went to the next uh actually this is the update for the uh uh macbook air sorry i'm saying uh, a lot but anyway it comes out with the fourth gen uh intel haswell uh, uh chip so that it's going to be running a lot better it has designed for power savings uh, they said it has 40 percent faster graphics so the whole thing is just a great update for the macbook airs they didn't talk about the macbook retina retina or the macbook pros at all so i don't think they're updating those uh, they might be doing a few things here and there but nothing uh that they really needed to announce they said that they are going from uh they said 11 inch is not going to have th these are the old battery lives and these are the new ones so the 11 inch is going from five hours to nine hours and the 13 inch is going from seven hours to 12 hours so they said all day battery life for both of these devices and that was a really big feature that i i wanted them to do because i didn't get a macbook air because of the battery life now that they updated the battery life, I might be picking one up in the future. Uh, but that was basically it. They said 45% faster because of the flash storage and the flash memory. Uh, they said 802.11 AC, so it's three times faster Wi-Fi than 802.11 N, or 802 whatever N. Um, it is three times faster Wi-Fi than it was, so that's that's pretty cool. They are also coming out with the new Airport Extreme, which will allow you to get 802.11 AC uh, for your MacBook Airs. And then they said stuff about the time capsule as well and just some more information about that. Then a little environment checklist for that. And then they talked about the Mac Pro. So now this is a really big update that they did for the Mac Pro. It looks amazing. For whatever reason, they made it like cylinder. It's not even, it's hard to describe. Uh, it has the new Intel Xeon uh, chip, which is gonna be 12, uh, 12 core configs, 256 bit wide floating point and PCI Express Gen 3. So it's gonna be just a beast of a machine. Uh, this is compared to the current, the old generation MacBook Pro. You guys can see how tiny it is. I don't even know, like I don't really even understand it. I wanna see a hands-on of this before I really report about it. Uh, here's the back of it. It comes with, I think this said six Firewire and Thunderbolt 2.0, I think it was, and then USB 3. Then you got uh, Ethernet ports, HDMI, your power, uh, your speakers, and your headphones. So that's pretty cool. They didn't really talk about it too much because they said it was just like a sneak peek of it. So we'll be hearing more about that in the future. So that was really cool. Uh, then it also lights up. So that's another cool feature. That's the Mac Pro. They didn't really announce anything else about it. They just said it's coming out later this year. Uh, so I will be talking about that once they, once more information comes out. Okay, then they talked about iCloud, and I noticed first of all, this little picture right here was a uh, updated icon. It, it had that uh, flat little design to it that we've seen in uh, some gimmick stuff. Uh, then they talked about, this is a really cool thing I wanted to talk about really quick. This is why I love Apple so much over Android, and don't call me an Apple fanboy, I do love Android, but the reason I use Apple stuff more is because of this. So Apple has most of their devices on iOS 6, you guys can see 93%. Android has one, two, three, four, and a bunch of other different operating systems, and they're all scattered. If you get a phone now, it doesn't even mean you're gonna be getting an update to it at all. Like my phone that I just bought, the Droid DNA, I am on Jelly Bean, but I'm not getting the most recent updates. So it's just, it's kind of a pain with Android, but that's just a quick thing I wanted to uh, point that they talked about then they talked about ios 7 this was the biggest feature of uh the whole 
event i guess that people wanted to see uh and right off the bat it looks awesome this is what it looks like sorry about the little uh play thing down here i just had to take uh screenshots of my uh, computer while i was watching the live stream but uh, this is what it looks like so they have a new feature that you can do quick settings that people really wanted uh, you can change the wi-fi the bluetooth uh, sleep mode uh, flashlight uh, they literally just took a bunch of themes from jailbreak community and brought it into ios which is exactly what i wanted uh, this is what it looks like it's basically anything you've seen if you guys have seen a, a jailbreak theme it looks really cool i honestly really really like it they had a ton of new icons these are what all the icons look like I think I have a home screen picture right here. You guys can see all the, what the icons look like. It's just, a, everything looks great. I, I really do really like this. I'll be getting the iOS 7 uh, developer preview today and I should have a video up later today as well uh, showing an overview of it once I get the uh, beta installed on my phone. Uh, they didn't talk about too much, actually too much about the home screen, but they did talk about a lot about the uh, new apps and stuff. I'm just gonna go through these pretty quick just to show everybody what it looks like for a new UI. So this is the th three different screens that you guys can see. Uh, this is the another version of the quick settings thing. I forget what they called that. I think it was like command center or something like that. Um, this is the messaging app. So it looks really cool. I just, I really do like the theme. It looks, it looks new. I really, iOS really needed a new uh, theme and a new look to it. And I'm really glad that Johnny Ive and the whole development team uh, was able to make it look the way it does. So that's the, again, the messages app. It looks really, really cool. And there's the desktop. I don't know what that is. I don't know what I took a picture there. It was called Control Center. Uh, so that was what this was. You can change the settings, the brightness, media controls, AirPlay, and apps. It's really cool, really quick settings that you guys uh, can use and that I'm sure everybody has wanted for a long time. I'm actually getting rid of my jailbreak just to try this. So I'm going to be uh, using it as if I don't have a jailbreak anymore. Uh, they talked about multitasking. So they're going to be changing the way that the phone can multitask and the iPad can multitask as well as the iPod Touch. Uh, it'll save battery life because it won't use as much CPU usage in the background. Uh, they also talked about the Safari app that they changed and the Siri app. And that's basically it. I think that's all I have. And then I have a picture from the Xbox event. Uh, but that was basically it. They talked about a good amount of from iOS uh, 7 and a lot about Mavericks, and which is the new operating system for the Mac. So this is what it looks like. This is iOS 7. I'll be having a developer preview, a beta of it up later today or maybe tomorrow. It depends on when I can get this thing installed. Uh, but look forward to that. Check my Twitter at DTRobo13. I'll link it down in the description. Sorry if this was really quick. I want to make just a quick video and not take your guys' time from the rest of your day. So if you guys like this video, hit that like button down below if you do. Hit that subscribe button so you guys can see all my new videos coming out in the future, especially with iOS 7 and the Mavericks uh, beta as well. Look forward to all of that, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.